right, guys. Got some popcorn. It's beautiful. Got some Diet Coke. It's time to start episode four of the ultimate adventure. Boom. <laughs> All right, guys, 30 crafting. I wanted to get 30 crafting because I wanted to use this lamp. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to use this lamp on... Why can I not find the crafting skill? There it is. Yes, 2,500 crafting XP, and now I'm 31 crafting. Uh, probably going to take a break from crafting now. I just really wanted to use that lamp on a skill that is actually kind of reasonable to use it on, so... I don't know what I'm going to do next, though. All right, so I only got two days left of membership on this ultimate. I've been playing it when I'm not raiding on my iron. Because when I'm raiding on my iron, I'm not skilling. And I like to play my ultimate when I'm skilling. Uh, so I got two days left. I'm going to try to get 50 fire making so we can do some winter talked boys. Oh, no, I missed the level, but I got 50 fire making finally. So hopefully we can do some winter tot on this account. That would be dope to see all those construction levels that come from it. Chang, chang, very nice. Okay, guys, so now that I have um, 50 uh, fire making for winter tot, I'm now trying to collect some warm clothing. I got the clue hunter gloves and boots and fire staff. I'm not sure if the clue hunter boots and gloves count as one warm item or two. So I know the Staff of Fire counts as one, and I have the Clue Hunter and Clue Gloves. I'm not sure if that's two pieces or just one. So I'm going to get two more warm pieces before I go to Winter Todd. Oh, I just got a genie! Yes! That's like the first genie I've had on this ultimate. Oh, I'm so excited. Herb lore all the way. Heck yeah. And herb lore level four now. Boom. Okay, so I'm going to buy some earmuffs because those are warm huh sire level 15 what the balls what about this can i 33 slayer bro i didn't know these had requirements i just wasted my money and time i need to go get the clue hunter outfit oh my gosh Ree! all right so i'm gonna need some gold bars to make games necklaces um what They don't sell these? What? I'm just getting juked, bro. Alright guys, I mean some pudding. What the balls, dude? Why is everyone buying stuff on the world? I need cosmics to make this games necklace, so I need to go to Winter Tot. So that's the bank, Kelsey. Sorry, I'm killing dragons on the other screen on my main Iron Man account. That's better right there. We're gonna buy just a ton of cosmics and stack up. Oh my gosh, I'm already broke, but that's okay. We'll just work with that right now. Cool, now we're gonna go find that gold bar. Yer, mateys, it looks like we be doing pirate's treasure for the gold. Aye. Fun fact for you blokes, Karamja is my favorite place in old school RuneScape. I love all of it. It's awesome. It is awesome. I love the tropicalness, and as a kid, this was like the coolest thing ever to pay 30 coins and to get on this special island and free to play. I just realized, looking at the rewards, that this quest does not give a gold bar. It gives a gold ring. So, the person in the clan chat was wrong. I think they were thinking of the pirate random event. But I'm gonna finish the quest anyway, damn it. Because why not? Whoever said that pirate's treasure gives a gold bar as a reward, your mom's a hoe. You gotta do random events on your ultimate because it's gonna get you stuff that you may need. I don't think this random event gives gold bars, but let's try it out. Angry woman, 
And let's go talk to this chick. Hopefully it's a gold bar, because that would be awesome. Four uncut rubies, that's dope, but not worth the inventory space and not a gold bar. <clears throat> All right guys, I just got a beginner clue casket. Let's open it up. Oh my God, cabbage and some shrimps. That's pretty bad. <laughs> I'll just sell it and continue on, but you never know what you're gonna get, right? All right, just completed pirate's treasure. Uh, so that looks good. Let's open up this chest. Yeah, that gold ring that I don't want, but yeah, we can sell it, I guess, or wear it for a little bit. And an emerald I don't need, but you know, I may be actually be able to make a dueling ring, which will be pretty useful. Let's see, dueling ring. 27, bro. I can make a dueling ring. That's going to be actually pretty sick. Boom, I'll have a games necklace and dueling ring. Just finished Goblin Diplomacy. Not that great of rewards, but I need a gold bar and 200 crafting SP, which I'll take. Five quest points, which is really good. And I'm getting kind of close to the amount needed for Dragon Slayer. I think you need 32 quest points, and I'm almost at 30. Like, that's crazy. I don't have anywhere near the combat level to do Dragon Slayer, but we are on a good pace for these quest points, guys. Okay, I started the Kosar's Cove quest because apparently there's like a gold bar spawn where there's just a ton of gold bars. I did this quest on my Iron Man account a while back so I don't I never really adventured into this type of stuff so I'm gonna check this out and see if I can grab a bunch of gold bars and we can make the amulets and stuff. Okay guys so at least I know where I can get gold bar spawns it's just that I get freaking smacked like hard hard by those org sh ogre whatever shaman dudes because i'm only 20 combat so what i'm going to do now i know i'm going to get more emeralds so i'm not too worried we're going to drop the air errands and the emerald and we're going to sell I, pff, what no we're going to sell those we're going to sell the emerald and the rubies get some money and then get prepared for winter tot and i can always come back Okay, folks, so let's go ahead and make this games necklace and hope I don't mess it up. Boom, we've got games necklace eight. I'm not going to drop this amulet of accuracy. It's just not worth it because you have to get like, what's it called? You got to get like all the freaking beads again and that's just not going to roll with me. So, um, yeah, I think we're looking really good. I forgot how difficult bosses can be when you're a low level. Cause holy cow, this guy is taking forever for me to kill. I decided to do the Kosar's curse because then I don't ever have to worry about gold bars ever again because I can just go pick them up. And you know, quests are good and help accomplish things. But holy macrimony, <gasps> am I really out of spells? Please smack him. Kosar's Cove completed. Never have to worry about gold bars ever again. I'm gonna go get one so I can make one more games necklace and then we're going to get warm clothing and then go to winter top. Boom. Apparently you don't have access to the northern part of the cave until after Dragon Slayer quest. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired of all these locks. Oh. Anyway, I mean, I didn't really lose anything because I got quests done, but like there's always something. All right, I found the body thing of this hunter garb and this flipping bear I had a safe spot because he's on me and he was killing me and I'm 15 health. Boom, shaka laka laka. I think I have four pieces now. One, two, three, four. I mean, if you count the boots and gloves as separately, I may get the other piece um just in case it looks like it's in yanel so i think i'm gonna go do that right now and i have the whoa what's up with the bears yo yo even the little thing what the oh my gosh there's little bears everywhere get me out of here what all right guys i got my clue outfit we're gonna go do some winter top and it's gonna be gang gang let's see how the, my first solo goes all right guys so i did my first 
couple winter tot KCs, which is pretty good. I got some pure essence and some herbs. So it's gonna be really interesting how I'm gonna maintain my inventory throughout, you know, this this series. But I'm gonna go ahead and inch, and end episode four, the ultimate adventure. I apologize for all the like bling bling notifications in the background i didn't really realize it until after i watched my my clips it's my iron man when it's done afking and makes that bling noise and i've been killing recently dragons on that account so every time a dragon's dead it's like bling so i sincerely apologize for that i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all next time bye bye